guys, today we are going to go through an all mat workout. It's going to be mainly strengthening your abs and your glutes. You're just going to need a core ball or a playground ball or a soft pillow and a light set of weights. So we're going to go ahead and get started um, on the mat, obviously, sitting up nice and tall. And you're going to grab your ball and place it right behind your sacrum, tuck it underneath you like a little bunny tail. And we're just gonna use that ball for some feedback. So we're gonna roll back into the ball. We're gonna take our arms out in front of us and let's practice some shoulder movements. You're gonna protract your shoulders. So they're reaching. You're gonna retract here, pulling them into your back pockets. And then you're gonna find somewhere in the middle. Reaching here, soft through the fingertips. You're gonna scoop back Roll past those sits bones and press your low back into that ball, following out your belly. And then lift it up. So lower down. Exhale. Inhale. Lift out of that ball. Nice work. The weather's finally nice enough to do some workouts outside, so you'll find me out here a little more often in this oasis. My oasis. Lots of birds. Exhale and inhale lift all right one more exhale and inhale lift now we're going to add some rotation so you're going to scoop it back into that ball hold rotate open to the left close the arm keep the scoop opening to the left and close open to the left and close good for three for two and one change sides. Keep that deep scoop. Pressing into that ball. Open to the right. And exhale, close. Open. And close. Nice job. Two. And one. Good. And lift it up. All right, you're going to grab your weights now. So light handheld weights. We're going to add a little bit of upper body. We're going to take those weights. This time, as we scoop back into the ball, you're going to reach out to a low V. Exhale, pull everything towards the midline. Exhale for inhale. Exhale, excuse me. Inhale to lift. So you exhale as you hollow out that belly. Inhale as you pull everything towards the midline here. Be careful not to pop your rib cage and lift. This is a great workout for after a run or a strength session and you just want to fine tune some things working on that core connection here and lift last two and lift last one back and a lift okay we're going to find that deep scoop reach those arms right out in front of you palms facing each other hammer curl so a little bit of bicep action here Keep that scoop deep in that scoop every time you curl for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, and one. Straighten those arms, rotate to the left, both arms to the left. You're gonna reach and press back into that ball. Reach and press, you've got it. Reach and press. Nice work. For four three, two, and one, over to the other side. A little reach, a little pull back. Use that ball for feedback or a small pillow, whatever you have, for four, for three, for two, and one. Lift up and release those weights. We're gonna work our way down to our mat, onto our left side. So take your ball with you. You're gonna take that ball in between your heels. Now, if you don't have a ball here, you definitely don't need one. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of clamshell, so activating the side of the seat here with that ball in between the heels. So you're gonna find your alignment, shoulders, hips, heels, lift the heels. You're gonna close the top knee and open. So the hips aren't shifting. You wanna make sure your hips are stacked. You can stay on your elbow or you can come all the way down here. So it's lift and close. Every time you lift that knee, if you have a ball, even if you don't have a ball, you're going to deeper squeeze those heels together. So focus on the heel squeeze to really kick into the side of the seat. Lift and lower. You've got it. Lift and lower. 
for four, for three, for two, and one. You're gonna extend those legs out long, a little lift up and lower. So hips are still stacked. We don't wanna rotate open through the hips. So lift and lower, lift and lower, good. For five, for four, for three, two, and on one, bend the legs back in, heels come in back into alignment with your hips, close and open here. One more set. Nice job. Lift, squeeze that ball. For five, for four, for three, for two, and one. Extend those legs, little lift for eight, and seven and six, think about length here, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that ball in if you have it. Take it behind that top knee. So it's behind my right knee. We're gonna take our one weight, so if you have that available, glue that elbow into your side. We're moving into a little side plank series here. So you're gonna lift up into a side plank and rotate that top arm open. So it's gonna look like this, lift, and lower with control, pressing into that lower arm, that left forearm, opening through the collarbone, lifting that right leg with control so you're feeling your glutes. Lift, keeping that elbow just tight towards your rib cage, rotating from the back of the shoulder. For four, for three, for two, and on one, hold, lift that arm. Now you're just gonna drop the top leg and lift. Drop and lift. Working all those tiny stabilizing muscles here. Lower and lift. Five, four, three, last two, and one. Lower down with control, nice work. We're gonna rotate onto all fours, taking that ball and placing it off to the side, you're gonna take your one weight behind that leg that was just lifted, that right leg. We're gonna come on down to our forearms here, pressing them out apart, knees under hips, keep those hips nice and stable. You're gonna lift that right leg, tap, tap, and lower. Lift, tap, tap, and lower down. Active through those palms, pull them out apart. Tap, tap, and lower down. Lift and lower. You've got it. Lift and lower. Good. Three more sets. Tap, tap, and down. Stable through the hips. Just working that glute, that right glute. Good. All right. From here, you're going to take that leg up, lift, cross to that left calf, and lift up. So you just tap your left calf with your right knee and lift it back out to the side. Down and lift, down and lift. Working that side of the seat just a little bit more here. Press and press, good. For three and two, you've got it, that glutes are, those glutes are feeling it. And one, nice work, coming on up removing that weight and heading into a plank. So we're gonna take ourselves out into a full plank, step it back here, find your alignment, shoulders right over the palms, soft elbows. Tuck that pubic bone down towards your mat. You wanna stay nice and lifted through that low belly. You're gonna take that right leg, lift it, tap it out to the side, just out, out. More glute emphasis, out, out, for four. Three, two, one, ground that leg, other side, out. Good, hips are stable. That left leg is lifted, just tapping out to the side. You've got it for four, three, two, one, and lower on, down with control. Stretch it back and release those wrists. We're gonna switch to the other side. So you're gonna take your ball with you and have a weight available. I'm gonna turn facing you. 
we're gonna take that ball back between the heels here. All right, back to our clamshells, we're on the right side. So shoulders in line with hips, in line with heels. We're gonna lift that top leg and close. Be careful not to rotate open through the hips. Good, squeeze that ball every time you open. Get a deeper squeeze through your heels. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Nice job. And lower for three, for two, and one. Extend those legs long. You can come all the way to laying if you want. I'm gonna come down here, lift the legs and lower for seven. Keep a light squeeze on the ball for six, for five, for four, for three, last two, and one. Bring it back in, little clamshells. Open and close. Squeeze the heels and close. Lengthen through the tailbone here. Lift and lower. Squeeze those heels, light up the side of that left seat. Lift and lower again. For three, for two, and one. Extend it back out. Last set. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Six more. Six and five and four. Three, two, and one. Lower it back down. Come on in. Bring that ball behind that left knee. So take it, squeeze it behind that left hamstring and calf. Bring your weight to your side. Glue that elbow in tight. We're moving into our side plank series. So modified side plank, bend that right shin parallel to the end of your mat. You're gonna lift up and lower. Little star position, lift and lower. Good, more glutes. Good work. Squeezing the side of the seat through the back of the shoulder. For four. For three. For two. And a one. Hold. Lift that arm. Drop the leg. And lift. Drop. Lift. Nice work. For five. For four. For three. And two. And one. Lower down with control. Flipping into that all fours position. Drop your ball off to the side here. You're going to take that weight underneath or behind your left knee. So coming into your forearms, in all fours position, your knees right under your hips, square them off. All right, grip onto that weight, flex the foot. So you're going to lift, tap, tap, lower down. Lift, tap, tap, and lower. Tap, tap, and lower. Knit those ribs together, keep those hips nice and stable. You need to have a tea party on your back. Tap, tap, and lower down. Nice work. Three more sets. Tap, tap, and lower. Two. And last one. Good. Lift that leg up. Lift. You're going to tap the calf and out to the side. So it's back behind you. Don't let the hips shift. And lift it up. Down. And lift it up. So keep pressing that mat apart with those arms. Getting those glutes from all angles. And lift. For three. And two. And last one. And lower down with control. Nice job. You're gonna remove that weight and go back to your ball. So, and take that ball in between your inner thighs. We're gonna work on some lower core activation. So you're gonna find your all fours, tuck those toes under, roll your shoulders back out of your ears, soft bend in the elbows, lifting up just about an inch or two off the mat. And you're just gonna squeeze that ball, little pulses in. Good for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, from here, hold that squeeze, drop the knees and lift, drop, 
and lift. Little drop, little lift. Good. Drop and lift. So every time, exhaling as you lift, drop. Just tap the mat gently. You got it for four, three, two, and on one. Hold lifted. This is your last exercise in this series. To the left, little squeeze, center. To the right, squeeze the ball, center. Left, little squeeze, right. Good, so just rotate and rotate. If you don't have a ball, you can still do this. And rotate and rotate, nice. One more each side. Left, center, right, center. Drop the knees. Whew. All right, you should feel nice and connected to your core to come into our final ab work. We're gonna go ahead and lay on down, taking your ball with you. Again, if you don't have a ball, you can still do this series. And just roll it all the way back. From here, find your imprint spine. Really connect that low back to your mat. We're gonna tabletop both of the legs and you're gonna extend them to the sky or the ceiling, lifting up through the chest. You're gonna take that ball to your right shin, press into your shin and push back into the ball with that right shin, dropping the left leg to a challenging level. You're gonna lift up, up that right shin. So press, press, keep that neck neutral. Don't crunch it down. Looking up, lift, lift. Six, five, four, three, two, on one, hold lifted, work those upper abs. Lower the left leg and lift, lower and lift. Now, if you need to take this to tabletop for your lower and lift, that works. My right leg is shaking, my lower abs are shaking. For four, for three, for two, and one. Bring those knees in. Nice work, rest the head. All right, from here, taking that ball, same leg behind that right shin. Extend the left leg, take the hands behind the head. Drop the right toe to the ground, lift the left leg, and switch. Switch and switch. Keep that core connected. Keep that imprint spine. No crunching of the neck. And lift for three, and two, and one. Good, keep that right knee in. Lift up further, rotate. Little pulse up. Lift, lift for six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in. Ah, nice job. Other side. Take that ball. We're lifting those legs towards the sky. Press that ball into your left shin here. Lower that right leg to a challenging level. Lift, press those hands up your left shin. Ooh. Five, four, three, two, one, hold, lower and lift. I don't know if you can see my leg shaking. <laughs> lower and lift for four, for three, for two, and one. Good, hug those knees in, release through that low back. You're gonna take that ball behind your left knee here. From here, take the hands behind your head, shoot that right leg out long, tap that left toe, and switch. Tap and switch. Good, keep that core connected. Keep coming into the end of your workout here. You can do it. Lots of abs for three, two, and one. Hold that left knee in, rotate towards the left side. Little lift. Extend energy through those right toes. Lift for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Woo. Nice job. Remove that ball from behind your knee and just place it off to the side. We're going to release through our low back. So you can take your arms up into a goal post position and you're going to let those knees fall over to the right and keep your shoulder blades as connected to the ground as possible. So you get a nice deep twist here and release through that low spine. Take a few deep breaths into your left rib cage. Good. 
through the center and take those knees to the left, opening up through the chest, keeping your right shoulder blade on the ground as much as possible. Take a deep breath into that right rib cage. And release through the center. Good, you're gonna take your left leg, cross it over your right, and just figure four laying down here. So that left leg is crossed right over your thigh. If you've got that left foot flexed. Just breathing deeply into that left glute. And when you're ready, switch legs. Big deep breath, really flex that right foot. And exhale all that air. And go ahead, release that leg, grab behind your thighs and rock up to seated. All right, you made it through a good core and glute workout. This is an excellent workout to keep coming back to to note increases in your strength. And it's a perfect workout to add on to a run or any cardio session um, that you've done for the day. So we hope you've enjoyed this workout and that you'll join us again soon. Have a great day.